patent ductus arteriosus, also abbreviated PDA, as the topic. And the best way to uh, explain this is with a diagram and a very straightforward, simple diagram, not the type of uh, diagrams you see in the textbooks because those are way too confusing. And as I'm drawing this, I'll label it left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium, left atrium. And then, of course, as you know, uh, there's vessels that come into the heart, the inferior vena cava, superior vena cava. That, that's the flow of the blood. And then, of course, you have uh, some valves. And then you have coming out here the pulmonary artery. And patent ductus arteriosus involves a connection between the pulmonary artery and something else. And in particular, it's the left pulmonary artery. Then you get to something called the lung. And then from there, you have this uh, vessel, which is the pulmonary vein. And then finally, when you get back the circulation coming out of the heart, it comes out through a very big vessel known as the aorta. So hopefully I'll draw some arrows here to kind of illustrate the direction of the blood. Now what's the point of all this? Well the point is that when the blood comes back to the right side of the heart, it's deoxygenated, and then the blood goes to the lung, picks up oxygen, and then the oxygenated blood then goes back to the left side of the heart where it's pumped out via the aorta into the circulation so that the oxygen can then uh, travel to different parts of the body. And then the cycle just keeps going. In the fetal circulation, you know, the baby in, in utero, the lung is not yet developed. There is something called a ductus arteriosus. And I'm going to exaggerate it it's not really this big, but for the sake of diagram, I'm exaggerating it. So this connection that I just drew, without messing up the diagram, is the ductus arteriosus. Now, what's the point? Why, why is there such a connection? Well, the reason is it allows blood in the fetal circulation to go directly from the right side of the heart uh, to the aorta and then the aorta can then pump it out into the entire body, bypassing the lungs, because the lungs in utero are not yet developed. Now you might ask, well, where does the oxygen come from? It comes from the mother, the maternal circulation, via the umbilical uh, vessels. But I just want to make sure that you understand what is a ductus arteriosus. It's a connection between the left pulmonary artery and the aorta. And in utero, the blood travels this direction, so from right to left. So from right to left. Now, what happens is, once the baby is born, some significant changes occur. And those significant changes um, include oxygen increasing after birth, of course. The lungs are now mature. And something called prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are um, obtained by the fetus from the mother. But after birth, that concentration in the fetus, uh, now as a baby, uh, decreases. So these two things combined allow this ductus arteriosus to close. And when it closes, everything's normal. But unfortunately, in some cases, it doesn't close. And when it doesn't close, it's called patent ductus arteriosus. Now why? Why doesn't it close? Well, it does close most of the time, but why in small number of uh, babies it doesn't close? Well, by far the biggest reason is premature birth. And um, the reason is because in premature uh, babies, the lung hasn't fully developed so the oxygen uh, is not as uh, 
high as it should be. And by far that's the biggest reason. And there's other reasons as well. Uh, like the, for example, if the amount of prostaglandins in the baby is still very high, that can prevent the ductus arteriosus from closing. Now if it doesn't close, without drawing the whole diagram again, I'll just draw the the just the most important components, which are the left pulmonary uh, artery and the aorta. And then of course this connection is the ductus arteriosus. Now if it doesn't close after birth, what happens is actually what was once a right to left uh, circulation shunt, what happens after birth is that the um, this direction reverses. And the reason is because the pressure gradient has now changed after birth there's more pressure on this side so now bloods actually start to go this way and that is um, a significant problem because you actually want blood to go out this way into the circulation you don't want it to go back so that is the fundamental um, aspects of PDA so let's get into now the symptoms and all that. So if a baby has patent ductus arteriosus at birth, it's usually within the first 10 to 15 hours after birth. So this is a very, very, you know, uh, neonatal type diagnosis. Symptoms, um, really, a lot of it is common sense. You don't have to memorize this stuff. Remember, the this is messing up the, the circulation and... Um, oxygen requirements of the body because of the flow not going in the right direction. So you'll have respiratory distress, you might even have apnea, and then the heart will start making this weird murmur sound. And it, this is very characteristic um, on clinical vignettes. Machine sounding murmur. If you see that, it's PDA. Public, uh, I was about to say a public display of affection, but in, the, in our video, it's a patent ductus arteriosus. Um, diagnosis is um, almost always an echocardiogram. Uh, this is a very, very uh, specific test that can be done to detect that abnormal connection. And the treatment, well, either medical or surgical. Surgical, as you can imagine, but the medicine that you use to close it to close is a medicine that inhibits prostaglandin synthesis inhibitor uh, I'll write out the, f the whole word prostaglandin um, prostaglandins basically are uh, responsible for um, uh, keeping it open now if you have a medication that um, uh, that can inhibit the prostaglandins, it will close it. And that medication is indomethacin. Um, very important to remember. This closes it, whereas this keeps it open. So hopefully that's a, a quick and succinct run through of PDA. So let's, look, let's take a look at some um, vignettes. X-ray performed on a newborn shows enlargement of the left ventricle and left atrium as well as dilatation of the aorta. Echocardiogram studies demonstrate volume overloading of the left ventricle. Cardiac auscultation reveals the presence of a continuous machinery murmur, which of the following is most likely diagnosis. Well. Like I had mentioned, uh, this is a very, very uh, clue, uh, important clue to um, the way a PDA sounds. So that's really all this question is getting at. During a cardiac um, exam of a newborn, a murmur is detected and a diagnosis of patent ductus arteriosus is made, which of the following best describes the direction of blood flow through the 
patent ductus arteriosus in this infant. Now remember, this pa this uh, baby has already been born, um, so the blood is going back because the pressure gradient has reversed. And if you remember, this part here is the ductus arteriosus, DA, ductus arteriosus. But what are these vessels? Well, this one was the aorta, and this one was the left pulmonary artery. So what they're asking for is the direction of blood. So the direction of blood is from the aorta to the left pulmonary artery. And that would be choice A. And finally, patency of the ductus arteriosus can be artificially prolonged after birth by administration of. So what's this question asking? How do you keep the PDA open? Meaning, you don't want to close it. They're saying patency is artificially prolonged. Um, in certain uh, heart anomalies, you may need to do that. And how do you keep it open? Well, you keep it open with prostaglandins. And you would close it with endomethacin.